Hello everyone. Welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Parker and I am your host. And today this message, uh, this, this video or live or whatever you want to call it, this one is posted up in the wife group. Okay. So meaning that this message can apply for anybody in a relationship, but I'm specifically talking to the wives on this one okay this message is entitled forget being his wife don't forget to be his friend in other words a lot of times when we get this this ring it means everything to us the marriage the wedding Everybody seeing what's going on, all that means everything to us. For people to know that we married, it means everything to us. But we forget to be his friend in the process. I read something and it said that marriage is being able to have a sleepover with your best friend every night. I said, wow. That's awesome now because I always think back to when I used to go and stay over at my friend's houses talking about in high school, we used to have the best of times. Like we used to talk, listen to music, have fun. And it was like the fun never ended. Even though we went to school together, even though we saw each other all the time on a regular basis, it was just us enjoying ourselves, enjoying each other's company and just having a good time. And that's what marriage is supposed to be. Marriage is supposed to be you all coming together, enjoying each other's company, having a good time. Just really being good friends. And somewhere along the lines, we lose that in the marriage. It gets to the point where this person getting off from work and you hear their car pulling up and your attitude automatically shifts. Because they done made it home. What? That don't sound like the way somebody would react if they're dealing with their best friend. No. Like, I want to feel like I'm dealing with my best friend. Like, I want to feel like when the car pull up, I'm like, oh my goodness, I ain't seen you all day. I got a lot to talk about. You Like, when I talk on the phone to my friend, I be like, friend, what's up? That means we ready to run it. It should be like that with your spouse as well. So in my studies, because like I told y'all, I'm preparing for wife school, preparing to teach it. I ask a lot of open-ended questions to kind of see where women are at in their marriage. And I'm always asking about, when was the last time you did date night? That's a question that you will see me ask all the time. Because I understand how vital date night is to a marriage. Adults have to be able to connect. See, when you met this person, y'all were connecting, y'all were doing things together, spending time together, going places together, going to the cookouts together. Whatever it was that was going on, y'all was doing it together. And if you have been following me long enough, then you will see that my husband and I Make it a priority to spend time together. Very seldom when you see him, you don't see me. Most times when you see us, we together. Meaning we understand how to be able to enjoy each other's company. We understand how to be able to take that little time when we can get that little time in. Now granted, we both self-employed. A lot of you all are not. But guess what? You can still create those moments. I purposely, which it was my night to plan date night anyway this Tuesday, but I purposely planned our date night as a at-home date night. I purposely did not get all dogged up for the date night because I wanted you to see how you can be in your regular element and still be able to enjoy each other's company. Yes, we're in the middle of COVID. COVID is not an excuse not to be able to have a date night. I saw that a lot in that date night post in the married ladies group. 
When I asked about day night, the I had the top two excuses, and I'm going to say excuses because I believe when we want to make things happen, we make it happen. The top two excuses that was used to not have date night was COVID and the children. I did date night at my house on Tuesday and I have children. I have two teenagers. And I got dogs that are babies. And I'm, I'm saying that because a lot of y'all say, oh, we got babies. And the thing is, I did everything that I needed to do for everybody, including the puppies. So that we can enjoy our day night. I did not get dolled up. I threw my hair back in the plait. I brought my iPad to the kitchen. We turned on um, talk radio because that's what me and my husband like listening to. Pod, different podcasts. We pulled out the food and we started cooking. The podcast is going on. We listening to the podcast. We talking about what they talking about on the podcast. We cooking. He over there cooking the ground meat. I got the shrimp in the oven. And I'm over there cooking the, the mushrooms and the onions and all of the other stuff to go in the tacos. We talking. We pausing the po podcast. We engaging. Because we don't want to miss what they talking about. But at the same time, we want to be able to hear each other talk. Right? We fix our food. We holler back there to the children. Y'all come on, the food ready. Now keep in mind, we still engaging with each other. The children come in, they fix their food. They take their stuff onto the back with them. We in the living room. We got the game set up on the coffee table. We got our food, our drink. In other words, we got all our stuff laid out, right? What I'm trying to get you to understand is the, the, these are the things that you can do in the comforts of your home to be able to spend time with each other. The game that we, we chose to play was Soulmate Showdown. You could get it on Amazon. You could search it, Google it, go online, order it. We played the game and we realized that we know a lot about each other. When we was when we was answering those questions, we was head on. Cause we know we know the person that we married to. After we ate our food and we played the game, we made our way to the room. Hung the do not disturb sign. Again, you could get the do not disturb sign from Amazon. Hung it on the door. That means that. I'm pretty sure everything that y'all needed from us, y'all done got it. Don't fuck with us. Do not disturb. Don't not, don't do nothing. If this bitch ain't on fire or somebody up in here hurt, do not bother us. You have to be able to explain these things to your children. Even the children that's two, three, four years old. Start your day night when it's their bedtime. Eight o'clock is a reasonable time for children to go to bed at night. Hang your do not disturb sign. Get them settled. Even if you got to put them on a movie or something in their room. Get them situated to where they are not disturbing you. My husband and I, we went into our bedroom. We turned on Amazon Prime or whatever, HBO Max, something. One of them apps and we watched a good movie called The Little Things with Denzel Washington in it. It just came out. What I'm trying to get you to understand is we ain't get up and get dressed up. I ain't have to do no hair or makeup. Everything that we needed was right there in our house. We cuddled up in the bed with each other. And guess what? We watched the movie. We talked about the movie. And we did what grown people do. That was date night. So, where there is a will, there is a way. A lot of you all are forgetting that you have husbands. Y'all are so engaged with parenting. And to the point where there's no room in your life for the husbands. It's nothing wrong with you parenting. But your husband is your priority too. And you have to make yourself available. And what happens when you don't make yourself available? Keisha makes herself available. And I know a lot of people say, I don't like it when you get to throwing that out there 
that when we're not doing certain things, other people are there waiting. That's reality. I talk to you like I talk to other grown people. See, I understand what's out here in this world. And Keisha out here, waiting on you not to be available. Waiting on you to be so engaged with your baby till you forget you got a husband. And all the attention that you don't have to give him, Keisha got it. But a lot of y'all want me to sit up here and talk fairy tale to y'all. Y'all don't want me to talk reality to you. And the reality is we have to be able to make sure everybody getting what they need, including our husbands. If you have children and you need some adult time, Chris had Kristen Singleton. She's one of the moderators in the group. She is in Dallas from Louisiana, moved to Dallas with no family. She had a great idea. She hired the ladies that work at the daycare to be able to assist with us and our children when they wanted to do a date night. I thought that was an awesome idea. I thought that was an awesome idea. Then she said when they got older and she wanted to do out of town date nights to where she was going off and traveling, she would hire college students. You say, how do I find these people? See, a lot of y'all are so wrapped up into you till you no longer have a social life anymore. Where are your social club sisters? Where are your church members? Where are your family? Where are your friends that you've uh, made along the way? And some of y'all on this, my children can't go to nobody's house. Can't nobody watch my children but me. I can't tell you how to raise your children. I can't tell you what to do when you decide to have a family. But what I can tell you is if you do not prioritize your husband, Keisha got him. One second, Facebook. Let me make sure this front door is closed because Spencer left out of here and I want to make sure he closed this door tight because I'm in the back. One second. So, what we have to understand is, yes, we are parents. Yes, we are wives. Yes, we wear many hats. You have to get out of this mentality that can't nobody help you with your children. If that's the case, you're going to homeschool them. They're not going to ever go to daycare. They're not going to ever be able to go into a school setting. They're they not going to be able to experience anything other than you. Because you so caught up into trying to protect them. I understand wanting to protect your children. I understand that they don't need to be standing out at everybody's house. I get it. I get it. But I also understand that you have to be open to help. Even if you have to bring people into your home for them to help. You can, you can put surveillance in your house. I have surveillance all over my house. So if you need to have surveillance in your house and have somebody to come to your house to where you can control the environment, then by all means, that's what you need to do. We, we are going into a phase where, yes, we got COVID going on, but we're getting ready to come out of it. We're getting ready to come out of it. And even if that is your issue, then you need to let your husband know, look, I understand that we got COVID going on right now. So we're going to plan some at home date nights for right now and then once we're finished with COVID we're going to actually interview some people, talk to some people who do you think will be a good candidate 
Who do you think would be good with our children so that we could get away for a couple of hours? Include them in the process. You pray about it. And you make a decision about who's going to help with your children. Because one thing that I know about a side woman, she don't mind making arrangements for her children. She going to make arrangements. When he come, her children ain't going to be there. When he come, her babies ain't going to be in the bed. Some of y'all problems as wives is y'all babies still in the bed with y'all. Babies that's six months and older don't need to be in your bed. They need their own separate sleeping space. By this time, they should be sleeping all night, even if you're a nursing mother. And if you don't want to get them out the bed, then y'all need to go to the living room and fuck. Y'all got to come up with something so that you all can get this adult time together. I was reading the book called Becoming by Michelle Obama. If you have not read it, really, really good read. And she talked about the transition from it being just her and Barack to when the baby came. When the baby came, they still did their day night every week. They, even when the baby came, they still had their weekly date night. You know what the waiter would have to do? Pull up the high chair for the baby. Because you know how you can sit the carrier in the high chair? So they did their day night with their baby because they understood the importance of it. If you have children, put them in the car, take a ride. Let the asses fall asleep on the back seat. Y'all ride and y'all listen to some music and y'all talk. Learn how to make ways to enjoy each other company and stop making excuses. I need you to be his friend first. It is awesome that you're his wife. But you have to be his friend. Y'all have to be able to enjoy each other's company. I saw somebody else in the group that said, I'm here in the marriage. My husband is here physically, but he is tapped out. Honey, if your husband is tapped out, at this point, this is when I need you to make sure you have a prayer life out this world. Because if he done tapped out, but you still in it, then that means somebody's still fighting. And I know God told me that marriages will be restored in 2021. So with that, I stand on his word. And if that, if that is your issue, I need you to stand on his word that your marriage can be restored. And guess what? If you putting in the work, he will see that you putting in the work. And I let him know, you might not be in it, but I'm still in it. You might be the tapped out, but I ain't the tapped out. You might think it's over, but God told me that I got the victory. And you stand on it until God tell you to do something different. Because what I know is people can't argue by themselves. So if you got somebody that like to argue, they, they can only argue if you arguing with them. If you got somebody who got mood disorders and all of this kind of stuff, you be the peace. Whatever you want to see in your marriage, you be it. If you want peace in your marriage, you be the peace. If you want love in your marriage, you be the love. If you want attention in your marriage, you give it. If you want affection, you give it. You be everything that you want. That's going to go over a lot of y'all heads. Because a lot of y'all on this, I'm waiting on him to do it. I'm tired of doing this here. I'm tired of doing that there. You ain't ready for this married life because this married life requires you to get up every day and be willing to work. And when your husband see the work that you putting in, his ass is going to line up. He going to line up because what he understands is Keisha's a good time over there. But Keisha ain't willing to put in this work that you putting in. And I know Keisha ain't willing to be diligent like this. I know this. I know Keisha ain't willing to pray over me. I know Keisha is just a good time. And if you stepping it up the way I see you stepping it up, I will let all that shit go. 
But when you're dealing with people, you cannot get upset that they went somewhere else to get attention and affection when all you want to do is laugh and grin and kiki in a baby face. They need attention and affection too. And you cannot expect people to be understanding when they have needs too. I see this every day. You say, Sharonda, why do you have this particular lingerie up here for the married women? But for the, but for the, I'm, I'm going to slide this so you can see it. But, but when you are on the sex talk page, you got a different type of lingerie up. Because the married women come up in here and all y'all want to do is cover up. I don't know why, but that's all y'all want to do. I'm going to slide this over to the center. This is a chemise gown. It's just a little nighty. Spaghetti straps. Do it got thongs to come with it? No. Why? Because you don't need them. This is for you to height it up. I'm trying to teach you something. Y'all want to come to the bedroom? Oh, I got stretch marks. The baby left weight on me. Oh, uh, I don't feel all that confident. Baby, let me tell you something. Anybody can be sexy. Sex is in, in you. It's, it's your confidence, okay? So, it's a little nighty, right? That's, that's it. Spaghetti strap nighty. Fit real short. Thighs going to be out and everything. In other words, we're going we gonna to put the emphasis on all of the shit about our body that we like. Ooh, I love my legs. Well, guess what your legs are? Ooh, I love my breasts. Well, guess what? They can sit up and they say, I don't like my stomach. Bitch, don't worry about it. It's covered up. It's covered. We got the robe. For those of you, I don't like my arms. Sharonda, why are you doing the married women like that? That's how y'all come in the store. This how y'all come in. Want to cover everything up, but want to be sexy. All right, I found something for you. And it go up to a size 4X. And it's on sale for $49.99. This whole set is regularly $79.99. But it's on sale for $49.99 for you for Valentine's Day. Hold on. I don't, I don't, Sharonda, I don't like my arms out. That's okay. They covered. Is the sleeves going to fit? Yeah, they wide. See, I, th this is how I got to do with the married women. Because y'all come in, baby, let me tell you. Y'all come in. And y'all be a piece of work. See them little, the, the, the Keishas of the world. Oh, Keisha come in and she don't care. Keisha don't care at all. She ready for it all to hang out. But that's okay. You want to dress it up even more? We got the no slip grip thigh high stockings. Yes, they will. If you even if you wear a size 26, 28 in your pants, these will fit. These are plus size stockings, so they're gonna come all the way up. Okay, they're gonna come up. I got sheer, I got fishnet, I got red, I got nude, all different colors on the website. Okay. Yes, it comes with a lingerie hanger. Yes, it does. Mm -hmm. Now, you got your massage oil, you got your bubble bath, and you got your flavored body topping. This is how your night gonna go. I'm gonna slide this over because I gotta explain how your night gonna go. Because some of y'all act like y'all don't know how to do this shit no more. You don't know, you don't, you done forgot what you did to get him. You gonna put this concentrated bubble bath in the tub. This concentrated bubble bath, the bubbles do not leave out, okay? Meaning when you put this in, the bubbles ain't going nowhere. It's enriched in vitamin E, so it's going to soften your skin as well. This is in the store. This will not be on the website because I don't want to ship this and you get it and it's all broke up. I don't want to have to deal with this. So this is going to be for my local people. If you're local, come get it. We got the strawberry massage oil. Is this edible? No, it is not. But it does have CBD in it to relax the body. That means it's going to penetrate through the skin. Yes, this is on the website. This is a strawberry flavored massage oil. This is the romance one. It's called romance. Now we're ready to get nasty with some oral sex. This is what a strawberry flavored lubricant could come in at. The Rousers. Oh, yeah. It is warming, but oh, baby, it tastes so good. 
It ain't gonna break you out. It ain't gonna aggravate you. It ain't gonna give you no yeast. It ain't gonna do none of that. All of that shit. No, no, no. This is made for the pussy. This is made for you to suck dick with it. Yes. This is here at the store and on the website. So, everything that I talked about is on the website other than this glass bottle of bubble bath. Okay? Come see me here today at the PPG store. I'm going to be in the back today. I will be here, but I'll be making baskets all day. I got to leave and then I'm coming back and make baskets all day because this is the time of year where I, I really got to get it in and get everything prepared for my ladies because Valentine's Day is next week. Yes, if you order online, you will get it. Two-day priority shipping. Another thing that is constantly asked. Oh, let me tell you this here. The weather going to be good all the rest of this week, Monday and Tuesday, to become Wednesday. It's going to be freezing. So it is going to be very cold for Valentine's Day. So you're going to have your ass inside anyway. Okay? If you need to decorate your room, go on the wife page. Go on the regular page. I got all different examples of different ways you could set up your house and decorate your room. Yes, we got COVID. And I know y'all used to going out to restaurants and all of this kind of stuff. But this year, you're going to have to do something at home. You don't need to be out there amongst everybody else trying to do Valentine's Day. Even if you don't want to cook it, order it, go pick it up, decorate your house. Because I don't want you spending too much time over the stove cooking, complaining about how tired you is. Order it, go pick it up, put it on some of them nice dishes that they gave you for your wedding. For your wedding gift, they gave you all kind of nice shit that you don't use. Pull that shit out. Use it. I don't give a damn if you got to pull out the nice turkey, uh, the fucking turkey tray. Pull that shit out. Presentation is everything. You got it? I know y'all got this. Y'all got this under control, okay? So again, the website is down below. If you enjoyed this live and it blessed your heart, send a tip. You all be blessed. You all be safe. Thank you for tuning in today.